G'day guys, welcome back to ABCPE. This is the site where we try and make the sometimes difficult concepts of VCPE as simple as ABC. Tonight we're going to have a crack at balance and stability. So let's see how we go. First, balance and stability are actually two slightly different things. They're very closely related, but they're not exactly the same. So firstly, the thing I want you to know that is an equilibrium is when things are balanced. So we've got, often got a couple of forces acting against us, but when we're at equilibrium, we are okay, we're balanced. Our balance, by definition, is our ability to control this equilibrium, and stability is the degree at which the body resists changing its equilibrium. So I'm going to show you a couple of videos to hopefully make those two little differences a little bit more clear. So if you have a look here, whilst I'm only on one foot, I'm actually quite balanced. That is, I'm able to control my equilibrium. However, you'll also notice that it won't take much of a force to get me <laughs> off balance. Easier. Now, obviously, if you have a look at another video, I've got both feet on the ground, so not only am I balanced, that is, that I'm able to control my equilibrium, I'm also very resistant to changes in my equilibrium. So now I'm both balanced and stable. So if you have a look, I'm now a lot more resistant to any changes. Hopefully that explains the difference between balance and stability. Okay, so why is this important to us as VCE phys editors? Well, it's important because some sports need greater stability, greater balance. So gymnasts, surfers, skiers, etc. They need to stay on their board or they need to stay on the beam. But some sports actually need less stability. So for a swimmer off the blocks, for example, they actually want to be balanced but not so stable. So they're less resistant to change, which means they can fly off those blocks and get a good start. Now, the three important things to either increasing or decreasing your stability, let's focus on increasing our stability. We can call them BLC. I know it's not quite your bacon, lettuce, tomato, but I've just made it close enough so we can hopefully get our head around this. The three most important things are base of support or boss, line of gravity or log, and center of gravity or cog. So base of support is basically how much of the area that you have is in contact with the ground um, or whatever surface you're on. So the surfboard, the skis, whatever it might be. Uh, and it's always the wider that base of support, the greater the stability. Your line of gravity, now this is a little bit of a more difficult concept. Just got to basically imagine a line from right up on top of the sky that travels right through your center of gravity and hits smack bang in the middle of your base of support. So the closer this line of gravity is to the middle of your base of support, that's going to be a really stable position for you. Now finally, your center of gravity, which is the central, central point of object that weight is evenly distributed around. So it's basically what you rotate around. Um, the lower you can get that standard of gravity, the more stable you're going to be. So what does all that mean? Again, I've enlisted Layla as some slave labor to try and help us out. So here we have Layla trying to keep her balance or to be stable up on a surfboard. So as you can see, as she's trying to get up right in this position, she's trying to have the wider base of support as possible. So her hands her knees and her whole of her legs are all in contact with the ground, which means she has a really wide base of support. So right now, she's really stable. However, as she tries to stand up, Good. Yeah. she now has less base of support. So now all she's got are her two feet, which means, as you can see, she's a little bit Freddy. less stable. So that's base of support. Now, if we imagine the line of gravity, we've got a line straight from the top of, if you want to imagine it as God or Aloe or whatever you want it to be, coming straight down and that hits through her center of gravity, which is probably about through her hips. And right now, because that lands in between her two feet, her line of gravity lands between her base of support. So she's actually pretty stable right now. Good. And she's getting a little bit floppy, so it's a little bit more difficult. What she's tried to do is she's tried to actually bend her legs. 
if she bends her leg, her base of her center of gravity, sorry, becomes lower. So now she becomes a little bit more stable. The more upright she is, the less stable she is. And as she comes down, she bends her legs, lowers her center of gravity. She's also going to put her more hands down to increase her base of support, which makes her <laughs> more stable. Okay, sumo wrestling is a sport that sometimes comes up in terms of balance and stability. So what I want you to do is have a crack at this question. What could a sumo wrestler do to increase his stability and therefore make him more likely to win that wrestling bout? I want you to focus on B, L, C. Okay, here's an example of a three mark answer. So we've covered off base of support by making sure that he puts his feet wider apart. That'll increase his base of support. We've also bent his knees, which lowers his center of gravity and make him more stable. We've also talked about ensuring his line of gravity is right through the center of that base of support. All these things make him more resistant to changes in his equilibrium and therefore he's more stable and less likely to be pushed over. So thanks for tuning in. If you're interested in more tutorials, study notes, seminars, or anything else, visit us at www.abcpe.com.au. Also, please look us up on Facebook or Instagram. We're more than happy to take any questions you guys might have uh, so we can try and help make VCE physical education as simple as ABC. Thanks very much for watching.